Recently, Alexei Molchanov of Molchanov's Freediving broke the world record for freediving, going to a depth of 140 metres. This was a media sensation around the world, and Alexei was even interviewed by 60 Minutes. Record after record has been broken in the last 10 years, and this has prompted the question, how do they do it? We here at Sailing La Vagabond decided to investigate. It turns out that there was a secret being kept by the most elite freediving athletes in the world, and many were reluctant to spill the beans. But eventually they decided to come clean with the trick, and it turns out it's got a name. You're not talking about the blowhole, are you? I can't believe you guys are talking about the blowhole. I don't think I can talk about the blowhole. What most people don't know is that just after the final mouth breaths, during the duck dive, a last breath is taken, but you'll never guess where, the anus. Well, the secret is out now, and people around the world are free diving stronger than ever using the blowhole technique. And remember guys, stay safe and happy, happy blowholing! Blow Hey guys, welcome back on board the Vagabond. We're really excited this week because we're going for an epic sail with our friends. Jack and Fran from Back to Base. Yes. And of course, with those guys on board, we've got a seafood full of freezer. Go again. No, I think that's good. Okay. So yeah, you guys are really going to want to see what happened yesterday out at sea on a tiny little fishing boat. And yeah, join us for the sail. La Vagabond is anchored here in Long Island. We actually had a fan here who was nice enough to lend us their power boat for the day. So Riley, Jack and Fran plan to stock up the freezers this morning and then the idea was to set sail to some new islands, yet to be decided upon, teaching Jack and Fran the ropes along the way. Hello everyone, we stayed back on board today, on board La Vagabond, while the other guys took the fishing boat out. We have no idea if they've got anything just yet. Yeah, I had to stay home because Lenny picked up a little bit of a flu. I don't like to leave the kids when they're sick, especially when we're so remote here. The hospital's a fair way away if we needed it. <laughs> I think Sarah and I are having more fun with this kite than Lenny is at this yeah, stage. for sure. <laughs> I've never flown a kite before. Yeah, it's really <laughs> fun, hey? Satisfying. Yeah. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I reckon that's bigger than the other one. <laughs> oh my god! Wild. They're still on. <laughs> we still got a shark attached to it. Yeah. Wow. Are they good eating at that size? Yeah. Delicious. Delicious. So I'm gonna head out now and just walk to the shop, get the groceries, and then they're gonna come pick me up with the groceries on the way back. Okay. And then we'll all come back in the dinghy together. All right. Sounds good. Yes. Thank you. More efficient this way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've been in the Bahamas for a long time. And uh, I haven't seen a lobster this big, like, at all, ever. And I managed to get this today, and it is an absolute beast of a thing. Some, some sort of 
dinosaur, some prehistoric crustacean. Yeah, we wouldn't have got so much uh, food if we didn't know all the other sailors in the anchorage. So we owe Will a mutton snapper, I believe, because he thinks my wetsuit. Yeah. I wish someone was filming how I just docked that dinghy, but it was literally a Johnny Depp dock. You just shut the motor off, glide in, walk to the front, grab the line, step onto the dock. Perfect speed and timing. I forgot to film inside, but we got our provisions and our ice from no sad food supply. Yeah, holy crap. <laughs> that is the biggest lobster I've ever seen. There's a black groper. Oh, you can't even see half of it. This is like incredible. It's nuts, eh? It's like you got a variety. You got hogfish, which is my favorite. Nice job, guys. That's our uh, Bahamian Currency. dollar. Yeah, that's what, it's our bartering chip. much lobster in a very very long time probably the best bit is the claw meat it's so nice the next morning we headed out to drop off some of yesterday's catch to our floating community of cruisers starry horizons and yeah, good to see you again yeah there you go. Awesome. Oh, beautiful. So Enjoy, guys. Oh. Fantastic. <laughs> Man, y'all had some good hunting. Yeah, we did. <laughs> that should be oh, thank you. pretty nice. Our final trade of the day was something of a trade off. Jack's mutton snapper in exchange for the fixing of one's wetsuit. Yeah. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you can watch me completely destroy this new wetsuit in our previous episode. <laughs> and massive thanks to Will for gluing it up for me. Good on you, legend. Go, oh, Lenny. <laughs> We're not meant to make sand castles on the lobster. He's almost bigger than you, mate, isn't he? He's coming to get you. <laughs> Why'd you put sand on me, Lenny? Why'd you put sand on me? Now we've got a clean lobster. I think Lenny's worked out. I'm absolutely weak as butter when it comes to disciplining kids and he's too cute to, to um, say no to. So if he wants to get the lobster sandy, he can get the lobster sandy. Take two, let's clean him up while Lenny and Fran are busy with the fire. <laughs> oh, good job. There's a fire. Yeah, we got fire, Lenny. <laughs> Thanks for helping me, Lanny. Get away from that lobster, Lenny. Look, Lenny, it's going on the fire. Nice little beach kitchen you've got. Yeah. So what are we doing here? We're doing some ceviche for entree. Yeah. And then we're cooking the crayfish and the hogfish. And the time lapse gone. We have to try not to put it in the sand, Lenny, because it's fragile. How did you go guys? Oh, you... mission success. We, um, <laughs> yeah. Fran was just explaining we've got three different Course. courses of, what have we got Fran? So we've got ceviche for entry mm -hmm. and then crayfish cooked on the fire with garlic and olive oil because we didn't have butter. And then hogfish. We just had a bit of a sneak peek and like you said Elaine, yeah. it does actually taste like so bacon. Good. Well, yeah. it tastes like pork of some sort. Yeah. So. yeah. Well, thanks guys. Don't oh, worry. We've got a lovely salad here that Sarah made. We've got our friends, David and Amy over. <laughs> We're all here to enjoy the feast. How's the conditions today? Great. Yeah? Yep. We have a stiff breeze out of the east. Is that I don't actually think that we can get there. We would like to go... To the rest of the day was spent discussing whether or not to hoist the sails just yet for a new location. Oh, Though somebody's day charming day. ways had our and guests somewhat see, distracted. So we had yeah, some seriously weather. strong winds, yeah. a consistent 25 knots from the northeast. Some really careful planning was in order. Come 
morning guys. Early start to the day, we're setting sail to Calabash Bay here on Long Island. We actually sailed yesterday, it was a beautiful sail, but we ripped the main sail. It's only a tiny little rip. Um, if you want to see that video, check out Jack and Fran's video. I'll link it below because they filmed that sail. It's a small tear that we're going to include in the video, even though we're selling the boat, because nothing that pisses me off more is when people are selling shit and they don't show you what's wrong with it, especially on a boat. Uh, so we're just going to repair it. Uh, not today and not tomorrow, but very soon. It's right at the bottom, so if we keep reef one in, it's fine. So there's another cat sailing, and he just called us on the radio and said, hey, can we pass starboard to starboard? We're in a really tiny channel here. On the radio, he just said that he's pinched up as tight as he can. So we're going downwind, he's going upwind. He's just like, let's just pass on this. Yeah. Hang on. Like this. Have a good day. <laughs> Safe and sound. This is the cutest thing. He sings himself to sleep. I know when he's about to fall asleep because he goes, ah. It's the best sound in the whole world. Love it. Jack and Fran are taking some time to catch up on some laptop work down in their cabin. So it's just Riley and I, and Sarah's inside with Lenny making some. Oh, you make an oat bars, Sarah. Oh, yeah. Sarah makes the best homemade oat bars, refrigerates them. My goodness, I'm very happy right now. How are your rubber Birkenstocks gone? They're good. I've seen a bunch of people with them. They're the, the cool man's crop. After a smooth four hours of sailing in the lee of Long Island, we arrived at the idyllic Calabash Bay on the northern tip of the island. It is the most beautiful morning, dead calm, all the nice pinks and blues. You can see the bottom here, it's so clear. And I think we're gonna go free diving out there later today. There you go, Mr. Lenny. Mommy, he's so wet. Yeah, Darwin was climbing outside, he's a bit wet. I'm a dream. <laughs> it's such a still, beautiful morning that the bugs, unfortunately, are terrible this morning. We're all getting bit by no seams, so we just, Riley just picked up the anchor and we're gonna move out behind all the other boats. You getting bit too? Yeah. You pulling the piss, mate? No, I'm not. The deep. I want the deep. I don't even think we have deep on this boat. Yeah, we do. We got a secret stash okay. of chromosome bending deep. Oh, starfish! Ah. Oh. Do we go to another place? No, we're not going to another place. We're just moving out to get away from the bugs. Did you feel the bugs, bit. Lenny? Did you get bitten by the bugs? No. Are you being bit, Fran? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got you at the wrong time. They always hide down here. Oh, I see one. While I attack the bugs with straight alcohol, which seems to be the only thing that actually kills them, Riley headed out deep to give some of our friends from the Anchorage a freediving lesson. So I'm just out here with Frank and Misha. We did a breathe up on the deck of their boat and we're gonna do a little bit of a freediving lesson. And the visibility is just unbelievable. And we're out on an OC tender. How yeah, good. We actually hung out with Frank and Misha heaps over that week or even a bit more, but didn't actually film too much of it. 
They are super wonderful people and it's great to see younger cruisers out there on the water. There's more and more of that happening and to whatever extent Sailing the Vagabond plays in that, we feel immensely joyful. This is about another third yeah. on top of your best one. Is that Riley? Yes, it is. You got Misha's homemade sunscreen on. Yeah, Misha makes her own sunscreen, so that's okay. good. She might need to work on that colouring, I reckon. <laughs> Had a bit of bronzing in there. Um, how did they go freediving? Great. Uh, well, Frank has a few prob genuine issues with his sinuses. Some people, they get uh, uncomfortable and, then, and start blaming things, but Frank has <laughs> genuine problems with his sinuses, so he found it a bit difficult. And yet still probably went down a third deeper than he had previously. Misha cracked a, a personal best with 10 metres or, I don't know what that is, 30 feet. And they, they really enjoyed themselves. Cool. They came up like, you know you get the, the stoked look. Yeah. Yeah. I got a few of them. Cool. Keeps me alive. And now we're going out again. You're just going to stay in your wetsuit? Yep. Okay. We're going to go and try and spear a fish. Yes, we're going to go, go spearfishing. Alright, that's about right. <laughs> very excited. What were you doing, Jack? I was just laughing at Riley's face. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen it. You're very white, babe. Oh, whoa. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, that's... Fair enough. Yeah. I didn't realise it was quite like that. We've got a full boat today, guys. I wonder if we're playing. Can we plane with four of us? Kind of, but not really. <laughs> I marked the spot on our navigation and quickly sent Sarah a WhatsApp message to see if herself and the kids were okay back on board. I still get mum guilt leaving the kids whenever I get the opportunity to go out and have some fun. But I know they're fine and I should make the most this of it. Thing on. Is this how you vlog baby Darwin? So no babysitting session seems to be complete without a few little tears, but we're doing okay. The boys have been actually very easy today. They've been playing with each other. And I even got to do some lunch prep because they've been doing so well. Lenny's drawing, maybe scribbled on Elena's to-do list, but she doesn't need to know. You can still see what she wrote. <laughs> She'll see it, but yeah. for that. <laughs> a little bit of a wrestle. You have potato on your face. You have potato on your face. I think we can't play that at all because the fish is a bit too heavy. <laughs> what happened Jack? Well we found, I think Elena actually spotted a very very fishy looking spot. Called us all over. There were some big black gropers and there was also this big dog snapper which is the first one I've ever seen. I was actually Quite surprised how big it was. Because <laughs> um, the viz is so good, you're seeing fish on the bottom, you're like, oh yeah, that's not a bad fish. And then when you go down, you're like, geez, that's huge. Yeah, mm. it was when I got it with the pole spear and then it sort of pulled me under the ledge. I was like, oh geez, this is a strong fish. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm pretty happy with that, mate. That's a that's really nice one. <laughs> Look at this big one, mate. Touch its eye, go. <laughs> Everyone's having an afternoon nap. Everyone, yeah. Apart from me and Darwin. Darwin's out here eating seaweed and running amok. He's so quick now. You really can't take your eye off him for too long. Otherwise, he just bolts to the front or back of the boat. Who's that? Is that you? Is that you? <laughs>
just wanted to uh, <laughs> say hi. I was the girl on the paddleboard, but it seemed like a bad time. I just wanted to tell you guys the reason I'm out here, so thank you. Uh, that's very cool. Um, yeah, thanks for saying that. So I, uh... good to hear. Thank <laughs> you. Good morning, everyone. Darwin's having a bit Buenos of breakfast. Dias, amigos. And we're heading off. Uh, to Hog Key today. We are not sailing this morning because we need to run the engine to charge up our batteries fully. Having four people on board, uh, well five adults, but four of them are working online, which means we have laptops open and charging and camera gear. So today is the day to charge the battery. What are you doing, friend? Making a uh, sashimi and ceviche. Nice. Yeah, with the macro there, definitely yes. Oh, cool. Yeah. Can you put this into the anchor? Onto the anchor? Yeah. I'm going to soon, mate. Thank you. Do you know what that is, Lenny? Soft shackle. I'm glad Lenny raised the point. This has held the weight of La Vagabond from the bridle to the anchor chain for in 30 knots, probably gusting up to 40. And it's like... That's, I just find that remarkable, go dynamic. I wonder then, Elena, if you find something remarkable and then remark on it, is it definitively remarkable, having been remarked upon? Let us know in the comments.